Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook, our Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook group, our Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, everyday news, breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 16th of November, uh, 2021. So guys, here's the latest. Uh, top businessman Farai Matsika went bitterly Monday in court after losing an appeal against a high court ruling that he fabricated documents in a bid to snatch a croco holdings owned by his former partner Moses Chitungwena. The case was dismissed on appeal with costs at the Supreme Court. A full judgment was not uh, readily available, but Matsika had in his appeal raised 11 points challenging the High Court ruling, which concluded that he had uh, cheated. In his appeal, Matsika complained High Court Judge Justice Owen Tagu had made a number of mistakes in concluding he sought to grab the company through the back door. The court co erred and misdirected itself on the facts uh, and the evidence in holding that the second applicant Fair Gold Investments is a wholly owned subsidiary of the third respondent, Croco Holdings, and such the second applicant is not a minority shareholder entitled to bring an application in terms of Section 1961 and Section 198 of the Companies Act Chapter 24.3, Matsika argued. He added, the court a co erred and grossly misdirected itself on the facts and on the evidence in finding that the application before it was a material falsehood, whether as alleged by the respondents or at all. He argued a justice tag made a mistake in finding the cause of action it had been taken out of time. Matsika sought the setting aside of the High Court ruling and demanded a forensic audit and valuation of Croco Holdings and 39 other entities. Matsika claimed that in family negotiations he had built the Croco business empire for 26 years while his cousin Chinguena was working at LCZ, Century Bank and Discount House which he claims are failed companies. Matsika, a former Croco chief executive, was left in the open after the court ruled that he had produced doctored documents to sustain a false claim. Tago ruled that his entire application was anchored on dishonesty. The applicants, Matsika and Fair God, sought to seek relief from this court by fabricating documents. A fabrication is amateurship as it is disrespectful. Tago ruled before dismissing the application with cost. In the application, Chinguena had argued that Matsika failed to place before the court evidence showing how he secured the 30% stake in the car firm. While Matsika had claimed that uh, Fibion Guatizo of Becker Tilly Guatizo, chartered accountants, was the shares transferring secretary in 2006, it later emerged through Guatizo's secretary that the accounting firm was not yet in existence at the time. Justice Tagu ruled that by extension of logic, the applicants needed to explain why the share capital amount was expressed in US currency, which was not in use in Zimbabwe until 2009. The judge said they also should have taken the court into their confidence and explained how Becca Tilly Guatizo chartered accountants could have executed the share transfer documents in May 2006 when that firm only came into existence six years later in 2012. It is clear from the answering update that the applicants did not deny that Becca Tilly Guatizo chartered accountants was established in 2012. So that's the latest here and uh, this is a family issue but still I mean you don't know what was and so uh for Matsika you know is actually losing our croco motors so guys we keep you informed Pakatika any new information and uh, and uh this is our daily news everyday news breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV Add it all in the comment section. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment, and follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Bless up.